finished. I'm waiting. Click the link below in the description to get 45% off your purchase and enjoy 1,000 free AI credits from Filmora. Thank you. you say slow. Welcome. Let's begin by dragging down just four pictures to the timeline, then right-click and select Crop to Fit as shown. Now, press and hold the Alt key as you drag the pictures upward to duplicate them above. Next, move the playhead to four seconds, then drag up the second picture above as shown. Again, move the playhead to eight seconds, then drag up the third picture. Finally, move the playhead to 12 seconds and drag up the fourth picture as shown. Next, go to track one. Starting from the second picture, reduce its duration to match the picture directly above it. Do the same for both the third and fourth pictures. For better clarity, you can go to the right side of the timeline, right click to adjust the timeline size, then restore it back later as shown. So I cross checked to ensure everything is aligned properly Next, I went up to Effects, searched for and applied the border effect to the first picture on track two. Afterward, I clicked on it, then went up to adjust the effect, setting the size to six and blur to two as shown. Again, I went back to Effects, searched for and applied the square blur effect to all the background pictures on track one as shown. Now click on the first picture on track two, go up to apply a keyframe under transform, then set the scale to 150, type minus 1,158 in position Y, and type five in rotate so that the picture moves downward as shown. Next, move the playhead to one second, then go up to apply a keyframe to position only, and type two in position Y as shown. Further, move the playhead to four seconds, then go up to apply a keyframe point to scale only and type 60 in scale. Next, scroll down to rotate, apply a keyframe there as well and restore the rotation back to zero as shown. Now, go to the picture and click the keyframe panel icon, then select all the keyframe points as shown. Right click and go to Bezier curve, then select ease in. Afterwards, scroll down and click the icon again to minimize the panel as shown. Let preview. Next, right click to copy the effect, then right click on the second picture above to paste the effect. Afterward, click only the first keyframe point, then go up to rotate and simply add minus to five as shown. Now, right click to copy the effect from the first picture on track two, then right click to paste it onto the picture on track four. Next, go to the picture on track three, right click to copy the effect and paste the effect onto the picture above it on track five as shown. Next, go up to transitions, search for wormhole three, then drag and apply it to all the pictures on track one. After that, reduce the first transition to 20 seconds, then click and apply it to all as shown. Let preview. Lastly, go to Effects, search for Zoom Energy Glow, then drag it down above and reduce its duration to four seconds to match the animation below. Then go back again to drag another one down, reduce it to four seconds, and continue the same process until the last one as shown. Done. Thank you for watching. You are awesome. The template link for this tutorial is in the description, along with the download link for Filmora. Have a beautiful day.